right there on top of the moon We could sit and do nothing I wish we were both to just fly away I don't wanna care Hi guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much and you're also welcome. Thanks for the support and yeah, watching my videos, sharing, liking, commenting. I really appreciate that. Yeah, so today we're going to do, uh, I'm cleaning this fridge. Yeah, so we're going to clean the fridge and arrange. Yeah, I did some grocery shopping and it's been long since I cleaned the fridge. So today i just got motivated to clean it and yeah so i'm going to clean and uh, just take you along on how i clean it it's a simple process though it's just a simple process of i'll just show you so let's do this like watch subscribe do all those things thanks so much and i appreciate you so over here i have warm water I'm going to mix it with some cold water so that it's not too hot and then I've added this liquid soap add some I've added the liquid soap and uh, yeah, I'm going to use that so I'm also having this water that I'll use to rinse kind of rinse so this one I'm mixing it with vinegar so this uh, this one will be for the final touch and this one is the one that I'm starting with. Yeah. So guys, from this point, I'm just going to do a voice over because of the music that was playing here and all that noise. Yeah, just to avoid the noise and everything. Yeah, so you just switch off the main source of power and then remove all the stuff from the fridge. And yeah, I'm I'm going to start with the fridge part so that I just remove I just wash it first and then I'm not kinda of washing it with the, by splashing water. I'm just wiping the areas because when I splash water it will be very messy here and I don't want that. So I just clean it with the the, the kitamba that had uh, soapy water first and then i come in with another one that had vinegar water and yeah just to make it very fresh it smells fresh after this and it smells so good yeah so that's what i'm doing just wiping it and then next i just wipe these parts these other parts that are glass by the way just be very careful when wiping yeah and just to ensure that you don't break them and i also have the other parts that uh for vegetable area and yeah the vegetable area part and you also just want to be careful with that because it's a plastic part but it's a that kind of plastic that breaks easily like this one it breaks easily if you don't like handle it with care so yeah i just wipe that too and then come in with that vinegar the kitamba for vinegar and then just wipe again and then yeah just do that why it's just a sequence of wiping with the soapy water and then the vinegar yeah, just like that and then i came in with another kitamba this one here and just to dry it yeah so that i don't like return all the compartment with the with the wet when they are wet i mean yeah so just wipe that too and ensure that it's not wet yeah because you don't want the fridge to be wet yeah so i just continue with that and then after i finish i go to the next part which is the freezer part yeah yeah and just like that i am done with this fridge part and it's all looking so cute and clean it's very clean the next part is this freezer part this freezer part usually feel like it's kind of smaller yeah it's always smaller than the fridge part i wish that the fridge part was more wider than the freezer like it would have been wider if it was the freezer part yeah i, I always feel like that because i do freeze a lot of items most of the things 
I don't have, I don't put them in the freezer part. Yeah, in the fridge part. So most of my items are here in the freezer because like they tend to stay long and they don't go bad easily. So these are the stuff that I've been freezing. I've been freezing okra. I've been freezing. The, those are the sausages, those are the, but they are a freeze okra so that sometimes just when you leave them in the fridge, they go bad. Like they start to be slimy, slimy, and I don't want that. So I keep them in the freezer part after cutting them because I love okra. And yeah, so I'll, I can eat them anytime I want. And then I also got this idea of freezing the dough. <laughs> Mandazi and chapo dough. You can also freeze mar mahamri dough. You know, uh, okay, that idea for freezing most of the the pizza pizza stores, pizza shops like they 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 freeze they freeze the dough they they freeze the pizza dough. So I got that idea and I say like why not also freeze the chapo? So this is my first time trying the freezing. Chapo. The other time I cooked chapo, and then I had some dough left, and then I fro I froze it, and when I took it back and like just leave it just to defrost in the freezer fridge part, and then it was all good and it cooked a very delicious chapo and soft one. So I thought of just going with that idea of just freezing. Yeah, so I made a batch of cooking doughs and then just froze them mandazi and chapati yeah so so freeze i also freeze omena yeah after buying it now this since i have the fridge freezer part i just buy it and then wash then make sure i wash it with hot water and then clean it then sprinkle some salt and then lemon juice just to keep it more fresh yeah, and then I pack it and then freeze it. Yeah, so those have been freezing them for a while. It's been long, by the way. Yeah. And then I have this maize that I used last time to make gideri, but then these remained. Yeah, so I also decided to freeze that. And some peanuts. These peanuts, I usually use peanuts for either any roasting or these I boiled for the gideria yeah. so these ones i boil them just so that when i make the gideri it doesn't take like i i love peanuts in my gideri and it usually tastes so good yeah so the next thing is just the same process as i did in the fridge part just washing these sides by the way this fridge is no frost like you see that part it doesn't have any frost like the items are just they remain in a good state but the that area doesn't have any frost yeah so after cleaning all that inside i went ahead to clean outside part which is just to clean that that part so that it doesn't have the marks for hands you know sometimes you just touch them and then it has the hands and whatever yeah so just clean it so that it is all better yeah but then the lights were off and then they come they came back <laughs> you know sometimes this house the electricity just keep on going going now i'm done and yeah it's all good it's all looking fresh and beautiful i really love 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 this now so cute now so the next thing is just to arrange all your stuff. I don't have my stuff here, by the way. I don't keep drinks because we don't take those drinks. But normally I just take the blended, the fruit juice. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes you just buy once, once in a while the juice just, just in case someone buys by. But don't do that. So, and I also have this area that I put the the bananas yeah and that area too I'll, I'll put the the what the potatoes yeah i'll put these potatoes once i've cleaned them i have potatoes these are my okra i put them there and yeah gideri and beans and yeah all that 
frozen stuff some ice cubes i also put them there yeah and then yeah this area is just for sometimes i put fish there and also put i also freeze my my milk yeah so i buy like five liters of milk and then just divide divide it into yeah the one liter one liter each sometimes I, if i divide it yeah i divide it into one liters and then i freeze it takes me a week or because it just take a liter a day yeah so i freeze it there and then sometimes i also just put i put some stuff here maybe fruits and yeah but fruits normally you just eat so yeah just some food banana eggs no not eggs i don't put eggs there potatoes yeah so that's it so guys you've come to the end of this video and i hope you've loved it so like comment subscribe and also share if it was really helpful so that's how i normally clean my fridge yeah that's how i clean it just with vinegar and some soap yeah liquid soap and warm water yeah and sometimes i also add some lemon to the vinegar but vinegar with water is just okay yeah so hope you've loved the video thanks so much for watching and let's meet another time in another video bye for now Kuna mudai, silali bandona so, kama ipo itakuja.